morning everyone and welcome on back to the channel hope that you're having a lovely day over there wherever you are and i think i'll twist i didn't even put this together anyways hope you're having a great one thank you so much for being here we're continuing on with our xtc journey we are going to listen to jason and the argonauts i can only imagine that this is going to be about the odyssey all right hear me out i'm you know kind of familiar with the odyssey i've read it i've watched the movie i love the classic movie is that the, the 90s uh uh movie with uh i don't remember his name but oh i love that one my cheese my wine anyways uh, <laughs> and i gotta be 100 percent honest i don't really remember off the top of my head how jason and the argonauts are related in the odyssey i don't remember so i'm just going to be up front and tell you that uh, but let's go ahead and listen to the song maybe we'll get a history lesson maybe we won't let's go ahead and listen first and then we'll talk about it after well, let's go
mesmerizing channel. And they keep on getting bass. I love how jangly the music is, especially guitar-wise. It's so jangly. Dun, 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 dun. It's just like this galloping kind of adventurous spirit. And then you have that wonderful bass underneath it all. Just so bouncy, so upfront in certain moments. But I do want to once again mention Terry Chambers, if you don't mind, on the drums. Because I feel like his playing is kind of like Stuart Copeland. Hear me out a little bit. I feel like he's, he's taking what could be a simple measure, a simple beat, and he's moving the snare. He's moving the goalpost just a little bit off. So it changes the scope of the rhythm within the music itself, which I think is really fantastic how that's done. And then of course you have the extra percussion that comes in. And during that middle break, which the music is very repetitive in here, but I almost think in like two and a hypnotic kind of escape into a hypnotic measure, we just kind of get lost in it. Especially with that break when you hear the percussion, you hear it after a while it comes in it goes like that little hand drum whatever it may be or whatever and then uh, you hear like this kind of phasing effect that's happening on the on the percussion as well at certain moments as it grows further which i think is kind of interesting it's like there's this journey happening but then it's also like this kind of i don't want to say hallucinogenic but there's a little bit of some you know psycho something something going on <laughs> It's a little bit psychedelic in a way. I wouldn't go so far as to say it's psychedelic, but it does have a certain feel to that. And then the music itself is catchy. The the chorus is catchy. Jason and the Argonauts. Like, it's just one of those really easy to sing along kind of tracks. And like I said, this is, as of this moment on the album, this is the song that ends the first side. And this is the longest song on the first side. And it looks like the second longest song on the album. And I think that it actually works in its repetitive nature because, like I said, it kind of draws you in and kind of keeps you in this particular space that is this particular song. There may be no golden fleece, but human riches I'll release. Oh, my head is spinning like the world and it's filled with beasts I've seen. Let me put my bag down and I'll tell you it all right from the start. Like the scarlet women who would pick on the boys she thought were green and the two-faced men who made a hobby of breaking his wife's heart. So... Uh, like I said in the be in the beginning, I don't really know the exact story of Jason on the Argonauts. I, I feel like I should. I feel like I probably do know some of it, but I don't remember it, to be honest. Um, I'm assuming it's looking for this golden fleece. Um, now, we could be literally talking about this mythical story, or could be taking that, that story and relating it to something that he's going through or experiencing in his life. Seems the more I travel from the foam to gravel, which is a great line from the sea to land, of course, as the nets unravel all exotic fish I find, like Jason and the Argonauts, there may be no golden fleece, but human riches I'll release, like Jason and the Argonauts, 
uh, which he repeats. I was in a land where men force women to hide their facial features. And here in the West, it's just the same, but they're using makeup veils. So I like that. You know, he's drawing comparisons between cultural differences. So I think that this is perhaps taking a, a more um, comparative approach to the story of Jason and the Argonauts to, uh, at the time, modern day uh, look at culture, I guess you could say. You know, in, in certain countries, uh, you know, on different sides of the world, uh, you know, women are forced to wear veils and such. And then he says in the West, it's just the same. It's just there with makeup. So I think that's kind of interesting. I've seen acts of every shade of terrible come from man-like creatures. And I've had the breath of liars blowing me off course in my sails. Like people that should be on your ship helping you guide it towards your destination have also been the people that like betray you or lead you off course. I really like the lyrics in here. The writing has, has always been really stellar from XTC, but it's always a joy to read through them and kind of pick up what they're putting down. I have watched the manimals go by, buying shoes, buying sweets, buying knives. I have watched the manimals and cried, buying time, buying ends to other people's lives. Be no golden fleece, but human riches all release. My head is spinning like the world and is filled with the beast I've seen. My head is spinning like the world I've seen. Blah, 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 blah. blah. And he just actually repeats those lines I just read on and on and on. So I think this is more relating his experience and what he's seeing in the world uh, to the story of Jason and the Argonauts and kind of drawing some comparisons in there. That is really good. Let me know what you guys thought of the track. You can let me know in the comments below. You can follow me over on Twitter, support the channel on Patreon. Thank you as always for being here. And I'll see you all later, guys. Bye.